In this video, we're gonna learn how to make this 3D printable phone stand inside Shaper 3D. To get started, you will need an iPad and an Apple Pencil, but once you have those two things, this is gonna be a fairly simple project to do inside your tablet. So with that said, let's go ahead and open up Shaper 3D and jump right into it. Okay, so to get started with this design, the first thing we need to do here is open up a blank new canvas inside Shaper 3D. To do that, let's click on the plus icon on the top right hand side. Then from here, we have a blank new project that we're ready to work on. The first thing we want to do here is set the units for this project. On the top right hand side, by default, it's very likely set to inches. I want to make sure we actually set this to millimeters. Once that's done, tap your screen and let's continue. To create this design, we're going to go ahead and create the 2D profile for this product. Let's click on sketch on the left hand side, selecting the line slash arc tool. And then we're going to select the face as shown in the front here. From here, what we want to do is draw a line from the origin going to the right hand side. From the mid middle, drawing this out. And then from here, we can go ahead and tap the dimensional value shown here. I'm going to go ahead and change this value to 70 millimeters. Once that's done, press OK. Let's go ahead and zoom out just a bit since it, since it took a bit more space. And one thing I want to note here, as you start working within Shaper 3D, you can actually go ahead and hide the units as shown here. You can click on the constraint settings shown here. You can either turn on or off, always show dimensions. As you start working in projects inside Shaper 3D, it can tend to get very messy, especially when you have tons of different parts of pieces with different sizes and dimensions. So you can always turn this off, especially as you start to make your more designs more complex later on in the future. So at the bottom right hand side, let's go ahead and turn this back on. Then from here, drawing another line from the bottom right, going up, I'm going to set the value here to 70 millimeters. Press OK. We're gonna create another line going down to the bottom left. This time, this is gonna be set to 55 millimeters. Press okay. Now, one thing we wanna mention here is that these two lines, these don't really have a set degree angle that we have personally set. So to fix that, we can go ahead and tap on these two lines here. And then once you've shown or tapped those two lines, you see you'll be presented with a certain degree shown here. I'm going to change this, this value here. And I'm going to set this to, let's just say, 60 degrees. Let's go ahead and finish this up by drawing one more line from this dot here, going to the left. And I'm going to set this value here to 10 millimeters. With that completed, we now have the 2D sketch of our 3D printable phone stand. To wrap this up, let's go ahead and turn this into a closed profile. To do that, let's go ahead and select this small dot on the bottom left hand side. Just draw a line going straight down. Now with that completed, we have a profile in which we can actually turn into a 3D body. Now we actually don't want to do that right now. What we actually want to do here is to create an offset. To do that, we're going to click on the front icon on the top right hand side of this cube icon here. Then what we want to do is go ahead and click on more and select offset edge. This basically allows us to select an edge or a line inside Shaper 3D and basically create an offset. So to do that, I want to go ahead and tap on offset edge and make sure this is set from single to loop. Now, if you were to double tap on any of these lines here, you can go ahead and drag this out and then drag it back in, creating an offset for our product inside Shaper 3D. Let's go ahead and actually offset this outwards. Now, depending on how much we offset this, this is gonna be the wall thickness of our design. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to 2.4 millimeters and press okay. With that completed, let's go ahead and finish this up by drawing another line down here. To do that, let's go ahead and reorient to the front, zoom in, and let's go ahead and draw another line. Now, as of right now, it might look kind of intimidating. Don't worry, I showed you a previous feature where you can actually turn this off. Turn off always show dimensions, and we can also turn off always show constraints. And now this looks a little bit cleaner, cleaner for us to work on. 
Let's go ahead and zoom right in, then create a line, dragging it down. And now you have a line separating in between this piece here and this piece all the way on the right hand side. Now, technically we don't need this piece here. So we actually want to trim this out. To do that, we can click on the trim icon with the scissors icon shown here, then select the bottom left and top line there. With that complete, let's go ahead and turn on the line slash arc feature once again, zoom in. And what we actually want to do is zoom in into this specific area here. And the reason for this is because we want to create some sort of lip that's going to hold our phone in place. To finish this sketch or this design, let's go ahead and draw another line from here going up. I'm going to set the distance here to let's just say around 10 millimeters. Then creating one more going to the right. I'm going to set this value here to 2.4. And then creating one more going down. And now we have this closed profile ready to be extruded. Let's go ahead and rotate this around into the 3D environment. Zoom out. And then we can go ahead and select the profiles that we just created. So let's go ahead, tap this face or this, uh, this piece here, then over here, zoom out and let's go ahead and extrude this out. So let's just say 80 millimeters. Now with that complete, you now have your 3D printable phone stand fully designed inside Shaper 3D. To finish this up, let's go ahead and add some fillets to the top to the inner edges and as well as to the bottom. Now we currently can't do this with this sketch currently in our way. So to turn this sketch off, we can tap on items and turn off sketch one. Then we can go ahead and close this window, zoom right in, and then we can tap the top edge of our design here. Now the cool thing about this is that there's actually two or one specific way to use the fillet or the chamfer option. To use the fillet, you actually could drag this out and to use a chamfer, you can drag this in. So there's not two specific tools for this. They're just both in one, especially since you're doing this on an iPad. Let's repeat the process for the bottom edge here. Drag it down. And let's go ahead and repeat the process for the bottom right. Once more. And if you accidentally select the wrong thing, you can just select elsewhere and just drag this out. Very cool. Let's go ahead and reorient to the front, zoom out. And you can see now we have our 3D printable phone stand fully designed within Shaper 3D. To finish this up, let's go ahead and add some color, click on modeling, visualization, and we go ahead and drag and drop, we'll just say matte ABS into our project here. We can also change the environment, change it to some sort of, let's just say gradient mood. Now we have our 3D model fully designed within Shaper. And you can also use the camera option to screenshot this and as well as see this in a 3D environment and actually use the camera on your iPad to kind of see what it looks like in real life, in real time, essentially, without 3D printing it, of course. Now, with that said, the last thing I want to cover is how do you actually export this to, let's just say your slicer. To do that, you want to click on share, then click on export as file. Now from here, you're going to want to go ahead and select STL. Now mine is toggled on as favorites. And the reason for this is because I toggled on the star icon. Now yours won't be shown on the very top. You'll actually need to scroll down a bit and actually find the STL feature there. Once you find it, tap on STL. Make sure the resolution is set to high and make sure to include mesh bodies. Once that's done, you're going to want to select the share icon on the top right hand side, not the export. The export actually exports to your iPad, more specifically the internal drive, while this icon allows you to airdrop it to your computer, which is what you want to do by clicking on airdrop and then selecting your computer there. Once you have it inside your computer, whether you're on a Mac, you're going to want to go ahead and find it within your finder and then go ahead and slice it within your slicer.
So with that said, that pretty much wraps up today's tutorial. If you want to get access to more in-depth guides, tutorials, and resources just like this, but for 3D printing, make sure to check out the 14 day design challenge. We go much more in depth, especially if you want to learn how to create your own products, functional designs, and even articulated designs for 3D printing. You can get access to the 14 day design challenge by checking out the link with the link in the description. But with that said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.